Welcome once again to Lato's Law. Here's Steve Lato. I did a video the other day where I mentioned Ford and they sent out notices to people who own certain cars saying that the car might suffer a condition where coolant could get into the pistons and as a result of that uh, it could cause problems. And so you could bring your car in for a fix to solve this problem and, and the proposed fix is a software upgrade to the powertrain control module. And I had talked on camera about how, even though I had this document in front of me describing what the problem was and what their proposed fix was, I simply found it a quandary that they were proposing a software fix to what appeared to be a mechanical problem. And I understand there could be situations where that makes complete sense, but I found it baffling, and I refer to it as a mystery fix, because I didn't understand, with my rudimentary knowledge of how engines are constructed and run, how that might relate okay and the interesting thing is and i said by the way if anybody's watching this video and know the answer to this please comment below i'm fascinated by this and i admit i speculated i said i'm curious to know if the software fix is going to be to detune the engine a little bit and make it put out less power and maybe by putting out less power to put less strain on certain things that have to do with the way the head seats on the uh, uh engine block and so on i mean i don't know there's, there's a lot of things that they could be doing here <clears throat> I can tell you, and I've told you before, I have the greatest audience on earth. My audience is greater than any audience ever. If, 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 a, if a rock star stood on a stage and said to his audience, you are the greatest audience ever, he'd be lying unless he was performing for you. Because my audience being as great as they are, I had several people contact me and say, Steve, I can tell you what the fix is because let's just say <laughs> I have access to things, not me. The people who contact me. I had several people contact me and send me information specifically on this. And what we are talking about, like I said before, is that it is a, a software fix. Okay. And the software fix, the upgrade is going to be to the powertrain control module. And the powertrain control module controls a lot of functions underneath the hood of the car. And one of the things I hadn't thought of is... The cars have an electric coolant pump. Now, in the old days, you pop the hood on a car, the engine's in this way like God intended, and at the front would be a fan, and quite often, the fan was attached to a thing that went into the water pump. The water pump shaft had a pulley on it that a belt went around, and that belt turned the water pump, and it was right there with a bunch of other belts, often an alternator belt, right? And I've changed water pumps on cars before. I've changed water pumps on trucks before. Me, myself, pop the hood, do the work. I could, I could walk you through it step by step as if reading from a Chilton manual because I know how to do it. I've done it before, okay? So the point is that when I think of water pumps, I tend to think of that. Now, I'm old school. A lot of cars nowadays have got water pumps, first of all, on the side because the engine's in there cockeyed, or... They have electric water pumps. And I'm here to tell you, electric water pumps are like timing belts instead of chains. They're, you know, something that God never intended. I've, I've never seen an electric water pump mentioned in the Bible. Same way I've never mentioned, seen a, 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 a timing belt mentioned in the Bible. So, so it's kind of like the people who say, well, you can change the oil in a car by sticking a thing in the top and sucking the oil out. Yeah, but God intended the oil to come out the bottom with a drain plug. That's why there's a drain plug there, okay? So this electric water pump nonsense hadn't entered my mind, but it should have because that's what this is all about. The update to the powertrain control module recalibrates the electric coolant pump. It, meaning the fix, uh, doesn't give specific details, but says that this will improve cooling uh, in the car and reduce potential coolant intrusion into the cylinders. Cylinders, if the cooling wasn't adequate or it had high pressure zones, if the vehicle shuts off, it could cause leaks. It seems like it would lead to a blown gasket if left untreated, but it is not, in fact, a problem with gaskets in and of themselves. So what they're basically saying is, look, right now, the way this is all calibrated from the factory, the electric coolant pump is set to come on at certain times and go off at certain times. And it might simply be the threshold where it comes on. Or I don't know, do these things run after the car shut off? Maybe they do. They have electric fans now, too. Again, not in the Bible. So the fan should be, I believe, attached to the water pump, which should be attached to the engine, which also should be mechanically driven. 
But again, like I said, I'm old school on that thought. But this recalibrates the electric coolant pump. And by the way, the bulletin covers 2017 to 2019 escapes, 2017 fusions built in Flat Rock, Michigan, and 2017 to 2019 fusions from Hermosillo, which I'm guessing is Mexico. And so uh, I don't know if there are vehicles built at other places that are not covered by this. In that case, I might ask you, it might you know raise the obvious question, why, why wouldn't it? Uh, and I can tell you that I've had several people point out to me other things while trying to explain what kind of stuff happens here. And someone else told me a story about how they had discovered a, an engine that had a really bad knock at cold temperatures that went away when the car warmed up. And it was unusual because it only happened below certain temperatures. And anyways, long story short, they'd done some sleuthing and they discovered that the pistons weren't being heat treated properly in one particular place that was making pistons. Every other place is making them fine, just this one particular place. And so they figured out a way to get around that. But the point is that they often do track down problems that way. But it appears that all that's happening here is this engine encounters problems when it gets too hot. The hot in this scenario is a range within which it might happen in just normal use. But they think they can solve the problem by getting the electric coolant pump to kick on at different times and possibly stay on at times it wouldn't have stayed on previously or at times it wouldn't have kicked on previously. That's all I'm saying. So with respect to the mystery fix proposed by Ford the other day, and like I said, a friend of mine got one and, and at least one viewer sent me a copy of it. It says we're going to address this potential coolant intrusion problem with a software fix to the powertrain control module. And what appears to be happening here is they are going to do something that changes, the only parameter it changes is when the electric cooling pump turns on and shuts off. So they're not detuning the engine, not changing the firing, they're not changing the ignition, they're not changing the valve uh, timing. And, and, and many of these things are things that can be controlled on some engines. I don't know if this particular engine has variable valve timing control or not. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But it doesn't matter because that's not what this is doing. So this, like I said, this mystery fix simply addresses when the electric cooling pump turns off and turns on. That's all it's doing. And if that solves the problem, great. If that doesn't solve the problem, then it's back to the drawing board and back to the powertrain control module, probably. So there you go. Thank you, everyone who responded. Thank you for the people who gave me the correct information. And I assure you, it is correct. It is correct. So uh, I'm bound to get somebody to go, Steve, that's not it. I don't care what you say. You're wrong. <laughs> I love saying that. Questions or comments, put them below. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching Leto's Law. Total absence of humor renders life impossible.